hello everyone welcome back so today i'm going to show you how easy to create this grid layout here with tailwind and this is the first what we are going to create and then we are going to create this one so it's look complicated right but i promise this is just few line of code and we can create whatever grid we want basically so in here i have already created the react application with fit so you can just do npm create fit at letters and you can give any name you want and you can use this 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 template and i use react typescript all right so from here i'm going to open that into visual studio code so now what we need to do let's go to talvin documentation let's go to talvincss.com and we are going to install talvin on our feed application so let's click get started let's go to installation framework guides and i'm gonna go to this fit here and what we need to do let's just copy this command here all of that open terminal and paste that right here and hit enter and also we need to just copy this content here because after it's done we have this file here talvin.config.js so let's wait for that and where is the talvin this one talvin.config.js and we need to put the content right here let's just save and we can say npm run dev let's go back to source and then app here and what i'm gonna do is let's just oh i think i missed this one so we need to just copy this styling here go to index.css and we need to put that right here like so and then go to app here i think we need to just get rid of this file app.css and go to app.tsx and here i'm gonna grab all of that and put heading one and see hello world and here i'm gonna say class name tax red 500 maybe and let's get rid of this use state and all of this so now save let's take a look oh we not open that right so let's open localhost 5173 and as you can see we have this hello world with a red text all right so now let's close this terminal and inside a source folder i'm going to create a file called data.ts basically i have already generated data with my ChatGPT, and this is the result i'm going to paste that right here and as you can see this is just a data array with some object we have title value and hake all right so let's just save that and now let's go back to app.tsx and in here i'm going to use diff like so and let's save let's take a look nothing happened really so in this diff i'm going to put class name call maximal width into i'm going to use 7xl and mx auto to make it in the center right here nice so now let's go to source and i'm going to create component folder inside the components folder i'm going to create file called css grid.tsx and here i'm going to say rifce and let's save and let's go back here i'm going to render the css grid on the app.tsx right here okay we're done with the app.tsx let's close off uh, the file and then i'm going to close this talvin config and then now let's working with this css grid so here basically we are going to map through the data so we can say data dot map i'm going to grab the item and also index here just put i doesn't really matter so in here i'm going to render another diff and i'm going to say the key it should become from the index and then here i'm going to put heading to and let's put the item dot title and also i'm going to render the paragraph so let's say p and then i'm going to render the item dot uh, value so let's save and let's take a look this is what we have right all right so now let's just styling this title and the uh, paragraph here so i'm going to do class name class name set that equals to i'm going to say text xl and also the 
color i'm gonna say gray let's do 600 also for the paragraph i'm gonna say class name the font it should be bold and also the text i'm going to make it a little bit bigger to xl this is just for styling basically nice and in this div here i'm going to add class name like so and this class name here basically i just want to i want to copy and paste but let's just typing that background is gonna be neutral 100 and also the border i'm gonna do two also the rounded is gonna be xl padding two and also let's just save that as you can see this is what we have and if i in this div here put a grid for example let's say grid and i'm gonna say grid column to maybe three column this is what we have i'm gonna say auto rows like so and i'm gonna put 300 pixel right i'm gonna save and as you can see the text is not on the center so that's why in here i'm gonna put display flex flex column and then i'm gonna say item center and also the justify also on the center so let's save and as you can see this is what we have the flex column is wrong flex column nice so i like to just copy this cut the styling and i'm gonna put to this variable here to make it simple let's do a box style like so set equals to this styling here and i'm gonna put the variable into this class name here so let's put that like so of course we need to use back tick to be able to put the variable in this class name here okay so let's save and this is what we have great so now in this um, grid here i'm going to add gap let's do gap to four and margin vertically i'm gonna say 10. let's save and this is what we have okay look pretty cool so now i'm gonna showing you how to do this one okay so the first thing is let's see i'm gonna showing you here we have one right two and then three so basically we have three column right so let's go back we have already doing this three column three okay nice and also as you can see the difference is just these two right here this one and then this one right so we are going to count this zero this is going to be zero so let's put uh where is the this is going to be zero this is one it's two three four five and then six right so we know three and six is have a little bit different width right so in this class name here what we need to do is really simple so we can say like so and we can do if i is equal to as you can see three equal to three or e is equal to six right what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this column span two just like so and then else just do empty string like so all right if the i is equal to three and or if i equal to six we are going to put this column span two right so let's go back and see what we have right magic happened and we done as you can see how easy is that but when i open that on the mobile it's going to be look like that of course it's not look nice but to fix that's also pretty simple we can just put medium here like so that means this is just effect on the medium and more when i save and as you can see it's look like that and for this column we can just put this is also just doing that on the medium and more when i save and as you can see everything is one column right pretty pretty simple so next i'm going to showing you how to do this one so let's see what we have in here so basically we have one two three and then four column right 
So let's go back here and we need to change this to four column like so. Now, as you can see, this is what we have. We have one, two, three, four column. Okay. So after we're doing that, let's remove that. And then here, the difference is this one, this one, this, and this. Let's just uh, put it like so. Okay. This one is different. This one, and then this one. And also this one. And, oh. Okay. So let's just um, say a zero, right? It's going to be start from zero. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. Okay. So now we know zero is going to be half two column. So let's go back here and I'm going to say if I, if I is equal to zero, we need to set the column to span two. So let's save and see what we have. As you can see, now zero is half two column, right? This is for the column and we can do that for the row basically. So let's add in here. I'm going to do like so. It's going to be inside the back tick like so. And I'm going to, I'm going to do if I is equal to two, right? We know this is two. If I is equal to two, we need to add. Of course, we need, we can say uh, for the medium and more. I'm going to say row column. It's going to be two. Else, I'm going to say empty string. Okay, this is just uh, for the I is equal to two. We add the row column two. I hope it's not complicated. So let's see. When I save and nothing happened, basically, what I'm doing wrong. Oh yeah, that is because it's not row column. It should be row span. Let's say row span two and then save. And as you can see, this the zero box is half two column. The one box if is half one column. And the two box here, the box two is half uh, two row. Okay nice and also we are going to put these four into two column so let's do in here this is going to be four and also five and six so we can add five in here so let's just copy this and paste that like so and we can change this value to five and then i think we're done so let's see here as you can see this is really really simple and hopefully this video helpful guys so you can create any layout with grid, right? So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.